Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to master your songs for free. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to pay. You don't even have to do it on my FL Studio or something. It's that easy. Before we begin, hello, my name is Alvaro Rubio. I'm literally recording this just as I woke up. It would mean a lot if you can subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I make videos. But this video in particular was recommended by a subscriber. So if you want me to make videos talking about something that you want to know, just hit me up and I got you. Well, further ado though let's actually begin so the website that i was talking about is schnauz right and this is actually pretty goaded all you really have to do is just log in with your email and i'm going to use one of my songs that i'm planning on releasing soon as an example so this is an example of the song unmastered i hope you enjoy it actually it's actually like my favorite thing i've ever made <laughs> I think it was pretty good. Hopefully you thought the same. This is the kind of direction I'm trying to go with my music now. More like psychedelic, pop, rock, that sort of thing. So just a full disclaimer, if your song isn't well mixed, it's not going to sound good. Master. That's not what masters are for. Mastered is to make it like a hundred percent commercialized. It compresses it and makes it radio friendly essentially, or just makes it sound the most professional possible. I really doubt that you know somebody making lo fi would necessarily need a master, but that's my opinion. So if your mixing is trash, the song is gonna be trash regardless of how you master it anyway, though. So it just checks the file, you know, analyzes it, finds its RMS and its peak. And now you see this is where we have control board, and this is basically where you do the majority of the work so like, you can basically compare between the original and the master over here so let's basically talk about these buttons because these are basically the only buttons that matter flavor is basically it'll master it thinking about how other songs in that genre of music are mastered right so essentially you know we have a uh, popular which i guess is pop music hip-hop rock alternative um electro house edm new school Right, so because this is more rock and alternative, well, not really alternative, al people really don't know what alternative means, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah, this is rock, so I would put this there. These are essentially to emphasize change on the bass, the treble, so the higher parts of the, the higher frequencies, and to make the sound wider. So for instance, if we compare it with wide, In this song in particular is not that noticeable however in one of my other songs in space chasing stars it really just did bits for me everything just sounded so much wider and at least for me where i'm trying to go for a very panoramic psychedelic sound this is exactly what i need so obviously add that if we were essentially really to, to, to add all of this together this is basically how it would sound mind i'm playing all the instruments i'll i'll, I'll mean a brag bitch in this song in particular it doesn't really need that much changing but that's because if you have a good mix it'll sound good and that's essentially what happens now also you can change the energy which essentially if it's a more intense like a club banger song compared to like a gentler acoustic ballad you would obviously change uh, the energy so Once you're done with that, and once you're content with what you have, all you have to do is export. No, I do not want to contribute. And then either master or share this file. So I would go master, wait for it to render. And once it's done rendering, it'll go into your downloads. See, now there's one extra thing that you might not know. And this is something I found out by myself. After a month of using it, it will force you to donate every time you want to master. Because I'm broke, 
uh, obviously that's not something that I can do. So what you would have to do every time that happens is you go to your profile, okay? And go to, I want to delete my account. And you delete your account and you either make a new account with the same email or you make a new account with a different email. Uh, but regardless, it's it's basically like a, like a revive button, essentially. And this is basically the video. I hope you've been enlightened by this. I hope this has helped you in literally any way. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. It, if it has, the only thing I ask from you is to subscribe and hit the bell. But this was Ivano Rubio and uh, peace.